Hi, this is WDC version 1, an implementation of the computer described in the book, How to Build a Working Digital Computer, by Edward Alicoster, James P. Phillips, and Alan M. Walk, and published in 1967. Uh, believers in the early learn-by-doing philosophy, the authors show how to construct such a computer using, quote, simple inexpensive components usually found around the house or in a neighborhood electrical parts store, end quote. This is often called the paperclip computer book since they use paperclips to create switches throughout the design. My implementation is a little more modern with 3D printed parts, digital electronics, and fabricated printed circuit boards. However, I have tried to use only components that would have been available in the late 60s. I have strived to create a machine that embodies both the concept and spirit of the original. To demonstrate WDC1, I have written a program to calculate the first few digits of the Fibonacci sequence, where each number is the sum of the preceding ones, starting from 0 and 1. So 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, etc. The program expects the starting two numbers to be input, so let's get going. The sequence starts with 0 and 1, but in the interest of time, I'm going to jump ahead to 2 and 3. So um, first I'm going to go to the input unit, uh, which is over here, and I'm going to um, input the uh, first number, 2, uh, into input A, and the second number, 3, into input B. You'll notice that as I select the digit um, with these uh, rotating switches that the corresponding binary uh, for those digits uh, shows up here in the encoder A, encoder B um, lights. So now um, we want to go and uh, execute the first instruction. So we come down here to the control unit. Uh, the control unit consists of two parts. There's a display panel that has a, an indicator light for uh, all of the instructions and all of the addresses that can be um, executed uh, on this computer. And there is a, um, a memory drum uh, that has the actual program on it. Um, memory drum is a little bit like a, uh, a music box where uh, there are pegs inserted for, uh, for the ones and um, empty spots are zeros. Um, the first four digits are, um, represent the uh, instruction, and the second four digits um, uh, are the, uh, the address. And there's some um, control bits over here that basically just um, to control these two lights and help you stay on track. So, the first instruction is uh, RIN, which is a read-in instruction, uh, read-in A, um, that's uh, encoder A or input A. Uh, and that's 2, and it's asking us to read that number into the accumulator, which is back here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I have now uh, input the encoder A value uh, into the accumulator. Now you'll notice that this is what I call a man-in-the-middle uh, computer demonstrator uh, in that it's telling me the instructions, but I actually have to perform all of the operations to move things around between the various components. So, we've completed the first instruction. Uh, we want to move to the next instruction. We just basically um, turn this knob. There, there's the next instruction. Um, and that's a transfer instruction. And that's telling us to transfer the value in the uh, A register, the accumulator, uh, into the X register. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to transfer the number. And I'm going to clear the um, A register instruction done. Uh, next. It's um, doing another read instruction, read in from B. This is encoder B, um, so I'm going to read that into the, uh, into the A register. Done. Next instruction um, is store into C1. Um, so it's asking us to store the value in the accumulator into the uh, C1 or core 1 uh, spot in the, um, in the core unit. Um, and so um, I, I'm going to do that. The accumulator uh, has three in binary uh, into, into core one. The um, switch points to the value that we're storing. Uh, 
And then it's asking us to do an add instruction. So um, we're basically going to add the value in the uh, A register uh, and the value in the X register. Now, when the ALU is set to display, the, uh, the, the A register uh, indicator lights are showing the values of the switches uh, in the A register. But when I switch to the add instruction, the, uh, the lights now show the result of the add between, uh, well, two and three, which is five, which is good. Um, and now as part of the instruction, we're, uh, we're asked to uh, then transfer this value that we have, uh, we see here, uh, back into the uh, A register. So I'm gonna go back to display and I'm gonna set it to five, which was the, the result of the, um, of the add and then I'm going to clear the X register. So that's the end of that instruction. The next instruction um, is read out or rut um, the, the ones column. Um, oh, uh, read out the value from the accumulator to the, to the ones column of the output register. So I'm going to take this value, uh, 5, and uh, I'm going to uh, input the binary value uh, here at the bottom, and uh, this device will then convert that binary value into the appropriate decimal value, which is five, which is uh, which is great. Next instruction: um, store in C2. So we want to take the value that's uh, in the A register and store it into the uh, the C2. So I'm going to switch to core two and I'm gonna enter a five in there. Um, and then read in C1. So I'm gonna go back here to C1 and I'm going to um, put that value uh, into the accumulator. Um, uh, transfer again. So uh, it wants us to transfer the value in the A register to the X register. And then there's a, a read in uh, C2. So um, I'm going to read the value from C2 into the accumulator here. And then um, there's a shift left by one instruction. So again, this is a manual operation. We're going to shift the value in the accumulator um, into the uh, uh, one bit to the left. And then <clears throat> we're going to execute a conditional jump instruction to one, which is uh, basically a label. And uh, the conditional jump, the condition is if the sign bit is set, then we will jump to the label indicated. Uh, but since the sign bit is not set, um, we're basically just going to go to the next instruction. And the next instruction is read in C2 again. So. Um, I'm going to put this value back into C2. And then we're going to store the value in C2 or in the accumulator into C1. So C1 now becomes 5. And then we're going to jump to 4. So uh, 4 is kind of a special label because it means jump backward. All of the other labels are jump forward. So um, we are going to go back until we see the number four um, light up. Oh, there it was, um, the number four. So we've gone back in the program instructions uh, to the add, to the add instruction. So uh, I'm going to execute the add. Uh, basically, I'm going to uh, switch to add. Um, and then I'm going to put that value uh, into the accumulator, and then I'm going to clear the X register. Next instruction, um, read out into the ones column. So um, that means I'm going to uh, move the binary value uh, into the switches, and we see that the next value in the Fibonacci sequence is 8. 
and then we're going to store the value um, in the accumulator into C2. Done. And then we're going to read in um, the value in, uh, in C1, which is 5. So I'm going to read that into the accumulator. And then I'm going to transfer that value to the uh, X register, like so. And then I'm going to read in C2, which is my uh, 8. And then I'm going to do this shift left again. So I'm going to shift the accumulator value one to the left. Uh, the accumulator in this case includes the, uh, the sign bet. Um, so having done that, we're going to we're back to our conditional jump. Uh, conditional jump to one. If the sign bit is set, yes, the sign bit is set. So we're going to move forward to one. And this is basically just an end jump instruction. Next instruction is read in C2. Um, so I'm going to clear. The sign bit and uh, set C2 to, uh, to 8. Um, yes, okay. And then I'm going to perform, uh, perform my add. So I'm going to do the add. I'm going to set the value, the result of the add, back into the accumulator, and I'm going to clear the X register. And then we have a readout of um, to BCD, which is a little different than reading out into the output register directly. Now BCD uh, is this unit. It's a binary to binary coded decimal converter. And uh, this unit is definitely off book. Um, it wasn't part of the book as a physical piece of hardware. It was in the book as a, as a um, kind of a 43 instruction subroutine to do the calculation. It turns out that doing binary to binary coded decimal is not something that's easily done with a simple circuit. Um, so I developed uh, this unit to kind of speed things along, and, um, and it basically has a microprocessor in it, which is why it's definitely offside. And, um, and so I'm going to take the value from the accumulator, and I'm going to put it into the binary coded decimal. So that takes the binary value and turns it into two binary coded decimal values. And then I'm going to put those values um, into the, uh, to the output register. And I end up with the value 13, which is the next value uh, in the Fibonacci sequence. And then the next instruction is basically just an answer instruction, which means that uh, we're at the end of the program. Um, so that's it. That's uh, WDC1. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, take care.